guys, it's Jennifer from Live, Laugh, Love to Read. Today I'm doing a book review on Rust and Stardust by T. Greenwood. Five stars. Five stars. Five stars. Five stars. Oh my goodness, this was good. Okay, so um, this was in um, a TBR slash library book haul just recently, and it was the first one that I read, and oh my goodness, it was good. Whew, sad, kind of disgusting and disturbing at times, but it was really good. It says, the girls at school had a club, a secret club with secret rules. Camden, New Jersey, 1948. On a dare from a group of girls in her school cafeteria, lonely, yearning 11-year-old Sally Horner steals a notebook from the local Woolworths. Woolworths. She does not know that 52-year-old Frank LaSalle, fresh out of prison, is watching her, preparing to make his move. Accosting her outside the store, Frank convinces Sally that he's an FBI agent who can have her arrested in a minute unless she does, as he says. So, <clears throat> uh, the book opens up with Sally, who is um, 11, which is a very young 11, very gullible, very naive 11-year-old. Uh, um, and it is 1948, so um, little Sally has no, no friends. So there's this, this little group of girls in her class, and they have this club. And she's like, I want to be in your club. I'm like, okay, but you have to be initiated. She's like, okay, what do I have to do? And they're like, you have to steal something from the Wool Woolworth store. So she does. She takes a uh, black and white composition notebook, puts it in her sweater, and goes to walk out. Now, the little girls are sitting at the, um, the counter having a, you know, what did they have back then? A soda. <laughs> soda water, I don't know. Um, and they see that she's done it, so they just get up and leave. Because they what it was was a setup. They were never going to let her in their club. So Frank LaSalle is um, watching the whole thing, and, and that's his opportunity. He goes up to Sally at the, you know, hey, little girl, I just seen what you did. I'm with the FBI, and you are under arrest. You have to go with me and then we'll go before the judge and yeah, all that. So this chilling novel traces the next two harrowing years as Frank, with Sally as his prisoner, travels westward from Camden to San Jose, forever altering not only her life, but also the lives of her family, friends, and those she meets along. <sighs> this book. So, Sally is like, okay, I'm going with this FBI agent, and he's going to take me before the judge, and then I'll get my punishment, and then I'll go home. So, he, Frank proceeds to tell her that his name is Mr. Mr. Warner, um, and that they have to get on a train to go see the judge, um, and that she's to tell her mother that um, she's going to the shore I live in New Jersey. They're going that she's going with her mother or with this man who is her friend Vivi's dad. Um, and says, Tell her we're going to the shore. That way she won't be so ashamed of you when you go before the judge. She won't even have to know. Yeah. So what proceeds to happen is she goes home, she tells her mom, Hey, can I go to the shore with Vivi? Um, her dad's gonna meet us at the train station and take me, you know, he's going on, going later, they're already there, and all that, and her mom's like, okay, so she takes her to the train station, meets Mr. Peterson, um, and puts her, puts Sally on the train with him, not knowing that this is not Mr. Peterson, this is in fact a pedophile, uh, rapist, um, man, horrible man, who just got out of prison, for that very same thing. Uh, yeah. So the, the chapters alternate between Sally's point of view, um, Ella, which is her mother, 
And then Susan is um, the oldest daughter who's married and uh, has a baby on the way. And then we have Al who is um, uh, Susan's husband. So now Ella, um, I kind of wish she had a different name because I didn't feel like Ella was an old lady's name and I kept getting confused on who Ella was at first but as the story goes on I was like okay this is the mother <laughs> now Ella is a seamstress who she is a widow twice over um, and she's a seamstress but she has really bad uh, rheumatoid arthritis um, and throughout the whole book she, they she's uh, talking about her swollen joints and her the way she hurts so bad and all this so, yeah. But then the chapters where Sally is talking about her ordeal with Mr. Warner, which is what she calls him. Um, yeah, very sad. He proceeds to take her to, I want to say Baltimore, where he they go into a rooming house and he tells the lady there that, that's, that this is his daughter and blah, blah, on and on and on. And... It, for two years, he move uh, he moves her um, state to state because he's one step ahead of the police. And of course, after like a month, uh, well, he has her, he has Sally write postcards to her mother and say, "Oh, I'm having the greatest time. It's so fun here, and we're seeing this, and we're seeing that." And at first, Ella is like, "Okay, cool," you know. Well, then after a month, she's like, "Okay." Uh, you need to you need to come home, and so still, uh, Sally believes this man is taking her that he is a FBI agent and that he has taken her before a judge. And she keeps asking, "When are we going before the judge?" Of course, as the years go by, she starts realizing that he's not who he says he is, and that he's lied to her and all this, and very very sad. Oh my God, sad. Um, but she does, Sally, and he, he makes her change her name. Her name is now Florence, which her real name is Florence, but she goes by Sally. But he makes her go by Florence, and of course a different last name. And he puts her in school as the years go by, and there's so many people in Sally's life that could help her, but she's just so scared to say anything. Yeah. So the one person who never gives up tr looking for her and everything is Al, which is Susan's husband which is the brother-in-law yeah so this book was so good i don't want to tell you anymore because i want you to read it and this book was i'll tell you how many pages it had um 336 pages i read it in like two days <laughs> and i have read all of t greenwood's greenwood's books and i really love them um, I had recognized this cover, but I didn't recognize the story when I first got it from the library. But then as I was reading, there's this one part in here that I remembered, and I think this is a reread. But it would have been a few years ago, because this book came out in 2018. And I didn't remember enough of it to say, okay, I've already read this. I'm not going to read it again. I read it again, because it was really good. So, um, but there's this one part in the very beginning where he takes a picture of, Frank takes a picture of Sally sitting on a white uh, swing, like a rope swing, and she's got uh, flowers behind her. It's like, you know, a set. And that's a picture they send to her mother to show how much fun she's having and all that. And that part was like, I think I've read this book before. <laughs> but it didn't matter because I read it again, and I really, that was the only part I remembered um, as I was reading. I'm like, okay, I remember that part, but I remember the rest of this, so... I gotta finish this book and I'm glad I did because it was really good so have you guys read anything by T Greenwood she's got other books um, one of them is bodies of water that was really good um, where I lost her I can't remember what that was about but like I said I've read a bunch of her books and they're really really good but this one mm -hmm, so good so good <laughs> So, walk, no, don't walk, run to your local library or wherever you get books and get this book because it was really, really good. That's all I got, guys. If you like this video, how about a like? And while you're here, how about a subscribe? Don't forget to chat back for more 
book videos coming up soon. Thanks, friends. I'll see you next time.